Okay, so moving on with investment appraisal. One thing that we have to understand really well is the concept of return while looking at investment appraisal. Now, for this topic, we can divide returns into two different categories. We can say a return can be defined as a profit or a return can be defined as net cash flow. So let's first start understanding the difference between profit, the difference between net cash flow. So what we've learned up till now is that profit is an accounting term and we define that to be as income minus expense. When we talk about income, we talk about any income that the business has earned over the year. And when we talk about expense, we talk about expense to be all expenditures incurred by the business, be it cash or be it non-cash. What is a non-cash accounting expense? The best example for, for that would be depreciation. As you guys recall, we entered depreciation in your income statement as an expenditure. But depreciation is not an actual expense. It's not something is happening or someone is coming up to the business and asking for money. It's an expense that the accountant feels that the value of your machinery is going down and should reduce the available amount of profit. So for accounting purposes, we will define expense to be cash expenses, all expenses that we pay for, and non-cash expenses, which will include expenditures such as depreciation. So when we talk about profit, we talk about accounting income minus accounting expense. Yeah, but when we move towards net cash flow, how would we define net cash flow to be? Net cash flow is a financial term. We will call net cash flow to be inflows minus outflows. So over here, our focus is not on what was actually incurred, but rather what was received minus what was paid. When we talk about inflows, we'll talk about all the accounting incomes which were received or they were your revenue receipts for the year plus another inflow that we will consider now is the scrap value. Now what is the scrap value? If you guys recall from depreciation, when we talk about scrap, we make an estimation that when we will use the machinery, we might sell it at the end and it might realize us some receipts. Now from accounting perspective, that was never an income because an accountant would define income to be a revenue receipt which is, which is something they expect to receive every year. But scrap is a one-off receipt and it can be called a capital receipt. But from financial perspective, this becomes your inflow over here. So for net cash flow purposes, we will now also consider scrap to be part of inflows. But whereas when it comes to outflows, we will only include cash expenses. This difference is quite important to highlight. So. From an accountant's perspective, expense will be cash and non-cash expenses. But from financial perspective, outflows will only be cash expenses, something we'll pay for. And expenditures such as depreciation will not be part of your net cash flow. All right, so it's very important to differentiate between profit and net cash flow. And now we can say that these are the two commonly used returns we'll use in this topic profit and net cash flow profit is an accountant method and net cash flow is something used by financial managers as a result the four methods that we have learned up till now we can classify them over here so when we will use the ARR method which was the accounting rate of return since that was an accounting method we will use profit as a return measure for ARR but for all other financial measures payback NPV IRR we will use the net cash flow. So remember net cash flow is inflow minus outflow, whereas profit will be income minus expense. Profit will include depreciation, but net cash flow will not. Net cash flow will include scrap, but profit will not include scrap. That's how you should classify your returns over here. All right, now if you guys have noted this down, let us apply this concept to an example. Okay, so let's take a look at this question. Now they're saying Waterworks Limited is planning to buy a new machinery. So if the company is willing to buy a new machinery, we can call that to be an investment appraisal decision because it has to decide whether to buy this machinery or not. Now following are the details available. The cost of this machinery is 200,000 and the life is four years. Scrap value is 20,000. I want you guys to take a note of the scrap value. All right, so that's the receipt you will receive when you sell the machinery at the end of year four. Okay, now if you have the cost, life and scrap available, remember we can use this information to calculate the depreciation expense every year. 
So let's calculate that. So we can use this equation, cost minus crap upon useful life. So that's 200,000 minus 20,000 divided by four. So the depreciation becomes 45,000 per year. Something to take a note of. Okay, now what information do we have? They've given us the revenue receipts. That's the receipt that they expect they will earn every year. And they've given us the word expenses. When, so if you guys see the word expenses, expenses is an accounting word. It means that this includes your cash expenses and this depreciation too. So depreciation is included in this expenses. All right, now using this, let's first calculate profit because the information is directly available. We have our revenue receipts and our expenses. So we can, we can first calculate our profit for each year. So let's do that over here. Let me bring this table. Yeah. So let's calculate our profit for every year. You guys should also try it first. Yeah. So these are your profit figures. 110 minus 70. I'm just doing revenue receipts minus expenses. 40,000 is the profit for year one. 25,000 for year two. 35,000 and 25,000 for year four. All right. So we haven't made any adjustments since they've given us accounting measures revenue receipts and expenses, we've used that to calculate our profit. So yes, that's our profit calculation. Now, the profit calculation was quite straightforward. What about net cash flows? How would you guys calculate the net cash flows for the same question? Let me just take you back to the question. Now we have to use the same data, but we have to find the net cash flows. So we have to take these revenue receipts. We have to use these expenses. Remember expenses should be converted to outflows. They're different expenses includes cash and non-cash expenses, whereas outflow should only include cash expenses. So what we know is that this depreciation figure is already included over here. And this scrap value should be part of your inflow since that falls under money coming in. So now using this, let's find our net cash flows. So so just like we drew a profit table, let's now draw a net cash flow table. All right, so your net cash flow table should look something like this. Yeah, so your revenue receipt stays the same, but to find outflow, we'll have to convert our expenses into outflow. So what I'll do is I'll take the expense figure, which was 70,000, I will remove the depreciation because depreciation is a non-cash expense. So I need to find the cash component only. So from 70,000, if I remove this 40,000, I get my cash outflow. Now I can do inflow minus outflow. That becomes 85,000. Same exercise I've done for year two, 130. And from the expenditure, 105, I've removed the depreciation, 45. So as a result, this becomes 60,000 is my cash outflow. That gives me a net cash flow of 70,000. Year three, 145 from 110, we'll remove this 45,000 and that gives you 90,000 to be the net cash flow. Okay, now for year four, the revenue receipt is still 100, but we'll add the scrap because the scrap falls under money coming in, that's a cash inflow. So your inflows will now be 120,000, that's one change if we compare it to the profit calculation. And for outflow again, 75 minus 45, that gives you net cash flow to be 90,000 in year four. So if you guys just compare these two, let me bring this table again. That's your profit table. That's your profit figures, right? And this is your net cash flow figure over here. So what we can say is if I can write this down in an equation, so we can use this equation net cash flow is equal to profit. If you've already calculated that you will add back depreciation because if you remove depreciation, that will increase your net cash flow and you'll add scrap, which was not included in profit, but which should be a part of your net cash flow. So if you have to directly calculate net cash flow, you guys can use this equation profit plus depreciation plus scrap. And if you guys are looking to calculate profit, just rearrange this equation which will, which will become net cash flow minus depreciation minus crap to arrive at the profit figure. Hey there, if you like what you saw right now, head over to altacademy.org for access to content around six subjects with past papers, videos, revision guides, flashcards, and academic support. All of this is gonna make sure that you're completely set for your A-levels.
So I'll see you there on the platform.